Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new and this is your first time watching. Um, I hope that you stick around and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, I know it's been, to those of you who are subscribed, I know it's been a hot minute since I uploaded. Um, I've been going through something <laughs> health wise and otherwise and then Mason was sick and so it just, um, you know, before I knew it, time kind of just flew by and, but I needed to take time to start to feel better and then just kind of, you know, focus on me. And, uh, it's hard for me to do that because typically, um, I'm kind of last priority, but I have been learning that that's not healthy. So I just, you know, took some time for me and focused on getting better and then focused on Mason. And um, through that time, things have piled up. Um, so apparently I have a shop my feelings situation going on. Um, the hole in my wallet does not fully appreciate it, but you know, we're going to get through it. Um, to the side of me on the floor, there are one, two, three, four, five, five boxes yet that um, I will unveil at some point. Um, I figured let's not be obnoxious and open everything at once because that's just not cool. So today what I'm gonna focus on um, is if, please somebody tell me if I've been living under a rock because apparently ColourPop has mystery boxes, okay? I bought this box a while ago. It's been sitting and I forgot about it because it got piled, other crap got piled on top of it. But here she is, I believe this one. So they have multiple, um, ranging from, I believe starting from like $25 all the way up to $100, I wanna say, but the value is more, kind of like a boxy charm where you pay a certain price and then the value of it is so much more. So this is the same concept. So I believe the one that I bought, and I honestly do not fully recall because it's been at least a month since I bought this. Um, I wanna say this one was like 35 or 40. Um, I don't remember the estimated value of it because again, it's been a hot minute. So we're gonna unbox this mystery box today. The other thing that I want to unbox, I'm, okay, so if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely, I'm subscribed and absolutely love uh, Jasmine, aka Juicy Jazz, and she recently did a collab with e.l.f., so not in the sense where they, you know, collabed on like a makeup line or something, like a palette or whatever, so this is just a box that she curated with e.l.f. of her, I believe there's like eight or nine um, of her favorite products from e.l.f. And I had to support, I bought, and this is just, you guys will unbox this too, but it's the cutest thing ever. Like, if you guys know who she is, this is her dog, Bernard, and he is the most precious thing. I, she, he's like in all of her videos and in her vlog. And then there's just like um, a palette and then just cute little things on the box um and then the last thing that i want to go over because apparently um koki cosmetics has mystery boxes monthly um i forgot about this you guys <laughs> this has been sitting brace yourselves july okay we're nearing the end of october it's fine we're gonna get through it so just a little bit of what I have. Um, I think, you know what, since I have this, the Juicy Jazz box right in front of me, let's dive right into e.l.f. And I did buy this box and then just a couple more things, mostly to like restock things that I was running out of. But once again, this is what the box looks like. And then right inside it says hi beautiful friends and of course lashes because she is like the queen of beautiful falsies i love it and then inside is her card right here and then on the back is just a message from her and it says hello beautiful friends so it looks like dreams really do come true because i have been given the opportunity to curate my very own bundle with elf cosmetics i have been using elf makeup for almost 10 years and i've always loved the amazing formulas and great price that come with each of their products and i 
cannot agree more. Um, really, I think the end of last year and really into this year is when I fully started dabbling into e.l.f. And I still to this day cannot believe the quality of the product and the affordability of this brand. Um, and then she goes on to say, not to mention they are 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Hello. So it's a uh, double win. I have so many favorites, but here are some of my top standout products that are perfect for everyday makeup, glam looks, date nights, um, or for those days where you're just feeling extra. I hope you enjoy these products together and on their own just as much as I do. This wouldn't be possible without your support. Thank you all for everything. XOXO, Juicy Jazz. That's really sweet. Um, again, I don't know her personally, obviously, but just by watching her for, you know, for quite a bit of months now, probably going on about a year, she just seems like such a genuine and like down to earth person, which is just so awesome. And oh my God, I, um, she posted a reel on Instagram with this box. Cause that's like how I found out about it. And I sent a message congratulating her. And I, that was right the day that I got the box and she messaged me back and I was like, oh my God, I feel so cool. But yeah, it was like a weird freaking groupy moment i don't know but it was so cool that she took the time to message me back because she totally didn't have to you know but anywho this is how it's packaged it's super cute and then let's open her up i think i did watch what was all in this box but i can't like remember off the top of my head and so here is what is looks like inside. It's really, really pretty, you guys. Just they did a beautiful job packaging this up. So it looks like we have a couple of tools in here. So the first thing is, that's in here is the Flawless Concealer Brush. I already have one, but and I use it like all the time to um, put on concealer, blend it out, um, set under the eyes. I actually like it very much for setting. It's so like precise and fluffy. It does a really great job. So I'm glad to have a backup. And then the second brush that they put in here or she put in here is the Complexion Duo brush. So this actually reminds me um, of the very pricey uh, it cosmetics uh, uh com flawless complexion brush i think it's called so you've got like the little one on the end which you can use for like spot concealing and then you've got the big side for um foundation or a liquid a cream whatever and i actually i have the it cosmetics uh flawless complexion brush only because they were running a 40 percent off sale on their site like last month or something i would never in my right mind pay 50 dollars or 45 dollars however much it is for a brush that's just um as much as i've loved dabbling into high-end things lately i i can't justify a 45 dollar brush so this is really nice and actually these are really good for like cream bronzer and cream blush. It does a really good job. Um, at least the It Cosmetics one does, but I'm sure this one does as well. And of course, because it's e.l.f., it's affordable. I believe these brushes are between like six and ten dollars um obviously the complexion do is probably a little more pricey and then i i want to say this is like six dollars the um concealer brush so that's really cute um next what she has in here are some cream not cream their putty whoop, just dropped both of those um, they're putty blushes. So I have tried and I am absolutely obsessed with their putty bronzer. That formula is absolutely to die for. And I believe they're like $8 or something crazy like that. So, but I have not dabbled into their putty blushes. So this right here is the shade, hold on, Bali. And I'll open her up. So I feel like this is absolutely like the perfect fall color. I love this. Let me see, swatch this a little bit. Oh my gosh, it is so pigmented and so creamy. But watch this, like look at how absolutely wonderfully and easily it blends into the skin. Like the color looks a little intimidating in the pan i won't lie but like when you blend it out and of course it kind of looks stupid because it's like right on my knuckles but like it's just so pretty um so that's that one and then the other blush that's in here 
is the color Bahamas. So I'm gonna take that one out as well. And this, I open her up. And this is what this one looks like. So this is more, it's go, a little bit peachy orangey. Um, I don't typically gravitate towards shades like this, but again, look at that pigment. But I feel once again, once you blend it out, I really think it is just stunning. And then, um, of course, I if I use a, a cream blush, I do like to set it uh, with a powder brush on top because I just think it makes the product last just that much longer on your skin. But that's just my preference. Okay, let's keep it moving. The other thing that we have in here, oh my gosh, I love this. This is there dewy coconut setting mist now typically as you guys know i have combo skin so typically in the late spring summer months i need something that is mattifying and something that um, is going to keep that oil at bay but every year lately it's been happening and it's happening again where as soon as it get the temperatures dropped and they finally dropped into like the 40s and 50s this is my time where i come alive um i do like things that are hydrating and this is absolutely uh wonderful this doesn't make you greasy but it does give you that hydration and it also um sets your makeup and this has um it is coconut but the smell of their coconut setting spray i'm just gonna open her right up it's um let me spray it so i do like the sprayer on here too it's just like a really fine mist and i will say it is just the slightest hint of coconut. It is not overpowering at all. Can and try to smell it? yes, you can try to smell it. Um, so if you are on the fence, if like coconut is not your thing, I really think this still, still will be okay for you because it is just absolutely so light um, and it doesn't uh, linger. So you don't like smell it throughout the day. Um, the next thing in here is their bite size shadows, which I love their bite size shadows. So you guys, these things are $3, okay? And the quality on these is absolutely amazing. So this, the shade, the one she has in here is called Truffles. So this is just absolutely your wonderful everyday, like neutral, and you've got a shimmer in here. And I'm just... I'm again amazed at the quality of these because I know a lot of brands came out with like four or five pan um, eyeshadows like this. I know ColourPop has them. I know um, who else has them? Um, high end Natasha Denona and then somebody else. But again, Natasha Denona, I think they are going for like $40 and I've tried them only because I've gotten them in my boxy before. They're nothing to write home about. Um, these, I would take this and ColourPop over the Natasha Denona hands down every single day. So that speaks volumes for Elf's formula and same with ColourPop. Um, all right, the last three things in here, she has the Elf Lip Plumping Gloss. And this is in the shade Champagne Glam. So this is really beautiful and neutral. Um, I do see a little bit of glitter in here. You don't like glitter. No, Mama does not like glitter. Um, but I will give it a chance just to see like if it's, because sometimes it's very, very light. So maybe um, it's just such a beautiful color. Um, but y'all know how I feel about glitter. We just... We don't mess with it here, no. Um, all right, the second to last thing that she has in here is the their lip exfoliator in brown sugar. So I have actually never exfoliated my lips. I probably need to because my lips have been super, super dry and just like I've been grossed out because it's gotten cold and everything just goes dry apparently. So I am absolutely like super excited to try this out. And I think this is so awesomely convenient and I, I'm gonna rip this cause I can't freaking open it. Um, I love that it comes, so this is what it looks like, that it comes in like lipstick form. And she did demonstrate um, how to use this. So you legitimately, you do this, you put it all over your lips 
and then you like just kind of scrub a little bit and then you just wipe it away um you can use a i would say like a wet paper towel or just like um a wet uh washcloth the reason I have this here is because I'm probably going to be doing swatches later. So I'm just going to use this to wipe that all off of my hands so I'm not covered in eyeshadow. And then the very last thing in here is their liquid, okay, liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Flirty Birdie. So I am a huge fan of, which I actually got backups of, their uh, metallic eyeshadow okay so these i absolutely love the pigment on these the creaminess it's just oh my gosh it's amazing and these are i believe five dollars each so you cannot go wrong with these i prefer the metallic because as no no thanks to the glitter so this is probably the one thing that i will not try um maybe this will end up in a giveaway down the line i don't know we'll see because i am i'm just brainstorming in my head some ideas of what I want to do for upcoming giveaways. So just keep in mind that you may see this in one of your little bags that I give away. Um, hopefully somebody likes glitter because your girl over here does not. Um, okay. And that was all of it. And my gosh, this was just so freaking cute. Um, I am so excited to try all of these products. And again, some of these are like already tried, but I just think it's just so, like, I'm so happy for her. Again, I don't know her, but like, she just works so hard and she keeps pushing out content and she's so relatable and just so, um, just so cute, you know, and so good for her. So this is, if you guys haven't tried e.l.f. and you want to, I would just highly recommend maybe getting your hands on this because it kind of just lets you dabble a little bit into some of their like really nice products and just to kind of give you a feel if this is, if you want to continue using them or, you know, if this is, if you decide, oh, you know, this is just not for me. So that's the Elf and Jasmine box. Um, let's move on to ColourPop. I am actually really excited for this mystery box. I really hope it's worth it because I really do think I paid like $40 for this. Um, so it's a decent size. Um, it's a decent weight too. So hopefully I'm not disappointed. All right. So let's get in here. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. Bubble wrap for Mason. He's very excited. There is, you guys, there is quite a bit in here. Uh, maybe I should have just done one video just on the ColourPop box, but I will try to go as quickly as possible. Okay, so first thing I'm picking up is a medium fluff brush. Not sure, not sure what you do with that. Um, so this is, oh, that's pretty. This is what it looks like. It's kind of flat, but very fluffy. Um, Kind of, I think this would be good as a highlighter brush or maybe even um, a setting brush for under your eyes because of the shape. Um, it's kind of a flat, but really, but kind of domed at the same time. Here, touch it. It's very soft. All right, so that's that. All right, next in here is their, <gasps> love their lip oils. This is their Lux lip oil. The, the formula on them is absolutely just amazing. And this is the shade. It's really pretty. Um, okay. Specks of glitter. Damn it, ColourPop. Uh -oh. So this is going back in the packaging. It's not a lot of glitter, but enough for me to shy away from it. Again, probably will end up in a giveaway for one of you guys. Let's keep moving along. All right, here is, oh, this is so cute. So this is the Animal Crossings Pressed Powder Palette. This is so freaking cute. The, oh my gosh, I can't. So this is Label, Labelle? Labelle of the Ball is what it's called. And this is so freaking cute. I can't stand it, oh my gosh. Okay, so, oh, I just dropped something. I'm not sure what. Um, so this is what it looks like. Okay, the cute little mirror over here. I can't with the little, were they bears, dogs? I don't know, they're animals. But I, okay, so I do love these colors because I love a good purple. And these are, these are, one of these is a pressed glitter. I do actually enjoy ColourPop's 
pressed glitter because one when you I use it on a wet brush and it is very very contained and it does not go all over the place so I do enjoy dabbling into their pressed glitter and this is just so freaking cute okay so the next thing I see in here is by fourth ray beauty which is like on affiliated with ColourPop, it is on the ColourPop website. This is their watermelon face milk. Um, so this is for um, moisture booster. Oh my God, yes, I need all the moisture I can get right now. And it is balancing. So it has watermelon seed oil. It is known to help restore moisture while also balancing the skin. Uh, cucumber water supports healthy hydrated skin and there's aloe in here known to replenish hydration and soften the skin so this is what it looks like the watermelon face milk and it's got like a little dropper in here um let me see let me i want to sniff this because oh my gosh it smells like a mixture of watermelon and cucumber it is but it, it's not overpowering whatsoever it's just the lightest freshest scent i absolutely love it and it is a very like milky consistency so um i'm gonna have to read a little bit on their site like how to use this or when to use this um okay oh it does have it right here it says apply two to three drops into palms warm between hands and gently press into skin use as needed so i think this could be used maybe before your, probably before your moisturizer, maybe instead of your serum, whatever your skincare routine is, but I'm very excited to try this. I'm gonna sniff it. All right, uh, oh my gosh, yes. This is their Act Natural Defining Mascara in black. You guys, I have been obsessed with this mascara. Um, it is like eight or nine dollars, first of all. Second of all, I have yet to use a more soft, fluffy wand on a mascara like it is it layers with other mascaras so wonderfully it just gives you the prettiest fluffiest like fluttery lashes my backups have backups <laughs> that's how much i freaking love it so i'm so excited that this is in here i am mm, so excited all right the next thing in here is their ultra glossy lip lord help me if this has glitter in it too because <laughs> it does so this is actually reminiscent of that champagne thing from elf the color um it not it's not reflecting that well on the on camera but i see glitter that is horrible thank you so moving right along um we have a lippy stick in the shade soft side um let's see I do like their formula of their lippy sticks. Let's see what the color of it is. Okay, so it is a, uh, it's a brown. Um, let's see. It's a little bit darker than I like to go, but I think with a gloss over it, you could probably lighten this up and then maybe also go with a really light hand on it as well so i will i will definitely try this out but it is a little bit darker um because i like nude um but this is just slightly darker than i like to go all right so this is their creme gel liner i'm assuming for the eyeballs it does not specify and it's in the shade jubilee and Oh wow, this is super freaking pink and bright. Um, is this their lip liner or their... Okay, so it's not... Okay, so this is broken. Um, it won't, no matter what I do, it's not coming out. Unless I'm twisting the wrong way. Nope, either way you twist it, so this is broken. And I'll just swatch it a little bit, wow. Wow, that is holy pink. I don't know, again, if this is an eyeliner or a lip liner. I would have to look it up, but um, this looks like it's broken because it's not twisting out. I'll take a look at it again later, but I don't want to sit here on camera trying to futz with it. All right, so the next things that are in here um, is a Super Shock Shadow in the shade Birthday Wish. I love their super shock shadows i have um i have one 
vault from them where I think there's like 10 of them in there. And then I recently picked up the Disney Heart of Gold vault of Super Shock Shadows. So I'm like stocked for quite a bit, you guys. So this is just a really, I actually might have this shade already, but never hurts to have a backup. So this is just a really pretty, like a light bronzy golden, if you guys can see that. It's really, really pretty. And this is just like, I love these and because like in the morning before work, holy crap, you guys, this isn't coming off. Oh, oh my gosh. You can still see like it's still there. Okay. Anywho, moving right along. So I love the Super Shock Shadows because typically in the morning before work, I don't have time to be doing like all of this. You know what I mean? So I typically reach for like my neutrals, like either the transition palette from Dominic Cosmetics or my Dior palette that I'm absolutely obsessed with. But most of the color, they're, they are matte for the most part. So just putting this on top and just for that little bit of pop, that little bit of you know, shininess, metallic, wonderful pigment that this delivers. It's like perfect for every day. I absolutely love their Super Shock Shadows. Um, and then the second thing that's in here is their Super Shock Cheek. Okay, so I have never actually used their Super Shock uh, Cheek products, just the shadows, but I am sure these are just as beautiful and pigmented. Okay, so this again is pulling a little orangey, corally, peachy. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so I, that is gorgeous. Okay, and it blends in super beautifully. So it feels like a cream, creamy gel formula. That's what it feels like. So I really think using your finger to kind of put it on and then maybe blend it out would be the best way to utilize this, but it feels absolutely wonderful to the touch. Oh my gosh, it is super creamy and super beautiful. I am like obsessed with this formula right now. All right, so let's put this and moving right along. I think we're almost done. There's two more things in here. Um, let's see, this is their So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Dress Code. Never tried the, any of their plumping glosses. Um, so this is the, it's on like, like a plastic tube and I can already tell that this shade is not for me because it's a little dark. So I don't wanna open it, I don't wanna swatch it because I am going to um, I will set this aside for a giveaway, just like the Lux Oil and whatever else I was going, planning on doing for a giveaway. So I'm going to set those aside. All right, so this is their Soul Body. Never tried any of these two. And this is a Shimmering Dry Oil. I'm not quite sure. Okay. So what it is, it says it's a luxe lightweight dry oil with next level multidimensional shimmer. Shimmer or glitter, I'll, we'll, we'll see that, about that. And then it says how to use it. Shake well, massage into skin using fingertips or buff into skin using a brush. Apply liberally to highlight your highlights. Okay, whatever that means. Um, I don't know if this, oh my lord jesus the cap just flew off okay so you don't need to like you can tell this is pure freaking glitter just glitter oh. in liquid form so this is a hard pass for julia so i'm gonna just gonna just yeah okay so i've accumulated three products here. So this is the lip oil, the So Juicy Limp Plumping Gloss, and the body oil, the dry oil. Um, if anybody out there, one of you, is interested in either one or all, uh, comment down below. Um, what are you doing this fall? 
What are you doing uh, for Halloween? Um, are you dressing up? Are you partying? Are you handing out candy? Are you being a grouch, Grinch, shutting off the lights? Screw you kids, we're not giving away candy. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in any one of these or all three. These are up for grabs right now, okay? So we got the body oil, plumping gloss, and the lip oil from the ColourPop mystery box. So that's what we got going on here. And so I want to count. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So for around 35 or $40, you have 12 full size products in this box. I have to say that's, that's a pretty good value. Um, because if I were to go look up to see how much one of these costs, this is definitely more than $40 worth of stuff in here. So considering out of the 12, there's only three that I'm like, no thank you on. I really think it's really worth your money, like absolutely. freaking lootly So once again, these are up for grabs. I'm going to set them outside on my vanity here. Um, and so I think because we are at 31 minutes, that was very long um, to take up so much of your time today. Um, that was it for the box, by the way. Um, I think I'm going to save Koki for another video, um, maybe something shorter and include the Koki stuff that I have. I've actually been trying quite a bit of their products um, outside. I haven't even touched these. These have just been sitting from the mystery box, but I have other ones that I have been using that I'm enjoying. So maybe I'll just do um, a Koki video um, just to kind of give you an update on their products and what I've used because um, I have been thoroughly enjoying um, their stuff and they are incredibly affordable and I believe Koki is available at Target and then one other place that I can't recall at the top of my head and obviously on their website. So that was everything I'll leave you with for today um because i feel like that was a lot um once again thank you for hanging out with me thank you for watching thank you for watching this unboxing with me and these are up for grabs comment down below what is up this halloween for you and then i will pick and then also obviously a way to get in touch with you if you are the winner and um today for me is saturday and i will keep this open until uh Wednesday. So Wednesday, I will pick a winner. I will contact you. Let me know if I have, if someone's interested in just one thing or multiple, I'll just pick a couple of people depending on what everybody wants and I'll, I'll reach out to you. So once again, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And then um, I do have some other ideas that I'm curating. Plus I'm going to do a Thanksgiving giveaway. So I will do a special separate video on that to give you details. Um, and I hope you uh, enjoy your day, whatever it is that you're doing. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you in my next one. Bye.